Do you think, right, do you think that, do you think that Dana White, right, is going to turn around to somebody and say, you can't have a press pass for having an opinion? I don't think he would do that. I don't think he'd do that, but Eddie would. Well, we know he's done it before, hasn't he? We can't let this go on any longer. Eddie, you don't, you don't want to come on my channel. I put two big billboards up outside football stadiums. I paid out my own pocket, right? Paid out my own pocket to get Eddie Hearn on here. On here. Eddie, I just want to ask you a few questions. Who won't do it? He's not going to let me ask him questions, is he? Dana White would let me ask questions. I think he would. If he's in charge of, of UFC and somebody wants to ask him a question, yeah. It, what, why, what would he have to hide? Everybody fights each other. But what were my Eddie? What are his fighters doing? He's got Callum Smith here, super middleweight world champion, undefeated. Billy Joe Saunders here, super middleweight champion, undefeated. And they're not even going to fight! I'm going, to have an, I'm going to end up having an heart attack. Old Porky's going to have an heart attack. And when I'm gone, you're all going to say, do you know what, you were right. It may have been a bit eccentric and crazy, but you know I'm right. All you hardcore boxing fans, some of you give me abuse, some don't. The ones who give me abuse work in the boxing industry. So, if you don't work in the boxing industry, let's have you on the channel. Alright? You're all people connected to Eddie Hearn, trying to shut me down. Tried all sorts. Look what they did to Ultratech Sports. They got him off Twitter. They got me off Twitter, didn't they? I had to get somebody else to set an account up. At Corner Porky, Twitter. We're on Twitter. We're only small, but let me tell you this. We tell the truth, right? Because you know when you tell the truth, We'll be able to see we're able to see the facts, aren't we? We're able to we're able to tell right from wrong. Now what you've just seen with KSI Logan Paul is wrong. If Donald Trump, right, were involved in boxing, right, let me tell you this. Donald Trump would have Callum Smith and Billy Joe fight. He'd have had Wilder and Joshua fight when they were undefeated. Now you've got Wilder with a draw. Joshua's been beat. Why didn't they make hay when the sun was shining? Why not? Do you think Dana White would have let that happen? I've been looking on here tonight at some of the fights that Dana White's put on, right? And I've never ever looked at UFC, right? And I'm not saying I'm going to go over to UFC because I'd rather walk away from the sport, right? I'd rather walk away, I'll go pick my snooker queue up and I'll go play snooker, right? I'll walk away from boxing altogether, right, if something doesn't happen soon. I'll walk away. Nobody's bothering Eddie and I don't see anybody asking. Get on Porky's Corner and answer some real boxing questions. You're not going to do it, are you, Eddie? Eddie's not going to do it. He's not going to give me my moment, is he? Because he knows that I'll be prepared for him. I want to challenge you, Eddie. Uh, I want to challenge you on Porky's Corner, Eddie Hearn. And I want to ask you some questions. And I want answers, yes or no. I don't want any of your bullshit answers. I want you to just reason with hardcore boxing fans. You might even get some respect. But I'm not going to tickle your feet with a feather duster. No way. I want to see proper fights. I don't want to see rubbish that you're serving up. Dylan White's the WBC number one. Now he's number two or something. So why ain't he suing WBC? And who's Dylan White going to fight in December in Saudi? It's going to be a nobody, isn't it? What are you doing with Dylan White's career? Why aren't we seeing people sue people? What, what, where are you going with Dylan White? If he's due a title show, why don't you sue WBC? Do you think Dana White would let that happen? He's suing, wouldn't he? I've been reading about Dana White. He doesn't take no crap off anybody. You've got to admire that. You've got to admire that. He left, is it from Boston, his area down that way, Massachusetts? Whitey Bulger's lot, we're going to have him shot dead or something. 
He went to Vegas and made his fortune. You've got to give him respect for that, but he's took no crap, has he? He's turned UFC into a powerhouse. And this rocking UFC, innit? it? I've been watching some of the fights on here. I'm embarrassed to say I'm a boxing fan. I'm embarrassed. But we've got stuck in our ways that long now. We're accepting it, aren't we? We are accepting it. Do you know my mate Smid, all right? He's been an hardcore boxing fan all his life. He hardly even tunes in now. And I think I'm going to end up going that way. Because of one man's Eddie Hearn. Yeah, Frank Warren's been getting away with murder for years, but he's trying to turn it round, isn't he, Frank? You've got to give him his respects, but... The system has allowed them to do this. TV companies are at fault. Adam Smith's at fault. I mean, Chris Eubank Jr., right? Who's he fighting on this uh, Al Heyman show? Who? His dad never fought anybody any good, did he? His dad had... 20... His dad's got 19... World title wins, but only four of them were champions. Who were the other 15? Who were the other 15? Joe Calzaghi's got 22 world title fights. 22 world title fights. And only beat uh, eight world champions out of them 22 world title fights. Who were the other 14? Who were the other 14? How is this allowed to happen? Carl Froch, 12 world title fights, beat 10 world champions, plus Dyril, plus Yusef Mack. Carl Froch weren't allowed privileges like that when he was away Eddie Hearn, was he? He fought everybody. Yeah, they were in the Super 6, but he fought everybody. So why is everybody else allowed to get away with it? Tyson Fury is the lineal heavyweight champion of the world. Who's he just fought? Otto Wallin. Before that, Tom Swartz. What's all that about? Lanille? What? Craziness. Craziness. Billy Joe Saunders has just had two world title fights at Super Middleweight. Nobody even can spell the names who he's just fought. Can you spell the names? Because I can't. Serifia Summit and Serafata Summit and Serilaser Summit. Whatever. Who are they? Who are they? Do you know what I mean? It's craziness. It's craziness and we're being played like cheap fiddles. And it's got to stop. So Dana White, come over to England, Dana, in your jet. And come and save boxing because I don't see anybody else who can do it. Who's gonna, who else is going to do it? Who else is going to take Eddie on now? He's nearly seen Frank off, hasn't he? He's nearly seen Frank Warren off, hasn't he? I don't see Frank's sons taking him on, I don't. I don't, they haven't got the platform, have they? He's getting away with murder. Getting away with murder and something's got to happen. There's got to be big changes in boxing. There's got to be big changes in boxing, otherwise What's going to happen? These people are going to leave boxing in a bad state, aren't they? Burns. But nobody's doing no about it. And I used to be an Eddie fan, but I can't put up with stuff like that at weekend. KSI versus Logan Paul. Come on. Kids. Headlining on pay per view. What is the criteria for pay per view now? Can I get a fight on pay per view? If I'm funny on Twitter or YouTube, can I get a fight on pay-per-view? Can I fight Spencer Fearing on Sky pay-per-view? Charge a fiver. Hey. Charge. Put Dave Allen on undercard. Martin Ward or something like, something like that. Hey. Like I said, nobody's saying a word. Because they just want it to go away. They want people like me to go away. Ah! They're just hardcore boxing fans, a small minority. That's what they want, don't they? Well, I'm not going to go away. I'm in this foot long haul. Do you know when you believe in something, right? When you believe in something, you've got to see it through to end. No matter what. I could be at home with my two kids now, couldn't I? Hey? Two seven-year-old kids at home, twins. Reggie and Ruby. No, I'm here, aren't I? I'm here, knocking videos out. 
probably wasting my life away doing this, trying to get a point across. But it's, I believe in something, I believe in it. Shout out to Robin Reed, Multi Vits. How you doing, Robin? Hope you well, mate. But Dana White's the only man that can save it now. I don't think anybody else can save it. So, peace out, keep on trucking, keep supporting boxing, share this video, like and subscribe, share it amongst all your pals because I can't do it on my own, can I? So, well let's see how far we can take it, but, alright, shout out to Innovation Allies as well, thanks very much for backing the channel, and South Yorkshire Packaging, alright, peace out.